there are two types of environmental audit that we do. The first type is what I call compliance audit. This is where we walk through your facility with a checklist. Uh, we'll be looking at physical things, looking at stains on the ground, looking at evidence of past spills. Uh, we'll be looking at your waste storage area to see if all your waste containers have labels on them and the, if the accumulation start dates are on those labels. Uh, we'll be looking at your wastewater discharge permit to see if you have been in violation of your permit conditions. So we're looking at physical things and we use a checklist to do that. Uh, we're basically asking the question, is everything okay today on the day that we perform the audit? It really doesn't tell you what's going to happen two weeks from today. Um, so it's not really a good predictor of the future. Now, if you want to know if the plant will be able to handle something, say two months from today, when an emergency comes up, what you need to do is you need to do an environmental management audit. Now, when you do a management audit, you do not use checklists. Instead, and you don't look at physical things, you look at people. You look at the team of people who have been assigned the responsibility of carrying out the environmental program. You look at the background, you look at the capability, you look at what kind of training they have received. Uh, you also look at the financial resources of, um, of, the, uh, of the company that has been provided to the team to do this job. Uh, you don't ask yes, no questions. Instead, you ask open-ended questions. You know, questions like, why do you do it this way? How do you know you have hazardous waste at your facility? What are the procedures you go through to determine whether or not you have hazardous waste? So you're asking questions that cannot be answered with yes or no. And, uh, and if you do the environmental management audit properly, you'll be able to answer the question, will this facility be able to handle an emergency a month from today? or two months from today. So it is a very, very good predictor of the future if done properly.